Somatic breath work is not a healer. It is a mirror. Yeah, how was your session? Yeah, it was... I mean, it wasn't like, whoa. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. I'm not gonna lie. I understand how people wake up at 50 and wonder, how did I get here? They're just not present. And the more I do this work, I realize I probably never would have woken up. I came here for myself, 100%. And in feeling that guilt and shame when other people had said that to me, I don't live my authentic self. And it's really keeping me from the joy in my life that I want because I'm not speaking my own truth or doing things for me. I'm so focused on everyone else. So I'm really happy I can take that back now. See at the capacity that you can love yourself and heal you. Teachers don't teach. They're only mirrors too. They reflect back an opportunity for you to see what's inside of you, to prompt that awareness. And in that space, it's filled with love. And that's actually what heals. Love is just presence. And presence is love. I mean, it wasn't like, whoa. I mean, yeah, I'm not, sure. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, no, I liked it inside yeah. the truth, for sure, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I definitely felt something going on. Right. Yep. I was able to connect with my body, which oh, uh, my attention was connection. Yeah. To myself. Yeah. Yeah. So. Doesn't always happen on the first time, you know? Sometimes yeah. the first time's good to just kind of like break a little layer open. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But some people, some people's cups are very full too. Yeah. Very full. And so spilling out is pretty easy. Yes. You know, when you have things to, like you work out, and other forms of expression outside of this. Yes. That's, what, that's the healthy form of expression that we want to like indoctrinate, yeah. re-educate with people. Yeah. So when you have that, it becomes very yes. awesome. I've done a lot of work. Yeah. Internally and externally. Yeah. You know? I see it. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm probably just, I'm not going to have experiences a lot of people. That's true. You, you work out. You work it yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Physically. It, it just, yeah. It, uh, that's what grounds me. That's what yeah. helps me release a lot of stuff. I love that. So. Well, I appreciate you coming. Yeah. I just wanted to stop yeah. by and say thanks so Thank much. You. All right. Okay, Thank cool. You for being here. Of course, of course. Anytime you need anything, let us know, okay? We're here for you. Being here has been such a mirror to see the power of this work. Six months in, you know, seven months in. I'm just really excited for all of you. I remember right after I got certified thinking that I was always in the past, always in the future, and that I finally felt present because I had the breath. And I remember thinking, I understand how people wake up at 50 and wonder, how did I get here? They're just not present. And the more I do this work, I realize I probably never would have woken up. With that presence and that awareness, you just see life differently, you see people differently, you see yourself differently. And just knowing that I've had the gift to support you guys in learning that. And Stephen talks about presence gives you the opportunity to choose and life is all about choices and just knowing that I can feel something and have a moment to take a breath and I can pivot my choice has just given me such a freedom in my life and just knowing that all of you are either free now or about to be is just beautiful so just thank you and I'm just so excited for all of you to have that freedom that you now from this moment have the ability to choose in your life. It's just really awesome to see. Um, first off, thank you, all of you, everyone in this room. But as teachers, you guys are so humble and so intelligent and so loving and so supportive. And this has all been awesome, but that I feel like really makes this course what it is. So thank you. And I was really sad today because I'm like, it's the last day, you know? But I just realized now, like, this is just the beginning of something so beautiful for all of us. And I'm really excited to bring this back to my own community. When I paid for this course, a lot of people were like, really think you need another course, Soph? And I'm like, <laughs> probably right. <laughs> and I felt, like, guilty at one point. And I was like, was that a bad move? 
I came here thinking that I was taking this course to teach breathwork to other people and to help other people. And I realized yesterday, I, I came here for myself, 100%. And in feeling that guilt and shame when other people had said that to me, I also realized yesterday, like, I don't live my authentic self enough. And it's really keeping me from the joy in my life that I want because I'm not speaking my own truth or doing things for me. I'm so focused on everyone else. So I'm really happy I can take that back now and start living more authentically. And what has brought me to breath work is really the message that I'm gonna, you know, help other people realize in their own life. One thing that I'm really looking forward to is the fact that, you know, in, in my stretching career, I use my hands and my body to really help other people, right? I take the power that I have within me to help them release certain areas, but in this practice, you're really putting the power in their hands to dig deep and find that power within themselves. To me, that's like so incredible that we can actually give that to someone and just hold that space and allow them to break out of themselves and like recapture that power and live differently because of it. So I think that's probably the most incredible thing that I've taken away from this weekend. So thank you. It's been so interesting to watch this grow into such a movement. And I just asked myself, why is it growing so much? Like, I think the mental part of myself wants to understand, like, why are people so intrigued? Mm. Specifically when it comes, you look at something like our YouTube right now, where mm. it's like, we have almost, we have over half a million subscribers on YouTube, which is just, my mind doesn't even, fa can't even fathom that many people, mm. but are clicking subscribe because there, there's a felt sensation that they want to know more about it. And I'm like, what is that that is making them want to learn more or to like, what, what is it that they're feeling a relation to? I heard Jim Carrey say it right really, really well. You know, he says that we all think that we are a human experiencing the universe, but we are the universe experiencing humanness. And I think that's really what it is. I think there is a bold connection between all of us, even for those who don't know what they're watching on our content. Yeah. Two humans together like so intimately intertwined that you would probably only see that in the cinema mm -hmm. other than actually real life on social media. Surely not. Yeah. But you have two humans that are interacting and they're not mirroring each other per se. One is being so responsible to the other and the other is actually fully in their vulnerability and their expression. Yeah. And on top of that, that connects you to something deeper, more intrinsic, more innate, more primal. It transcends all language that we would know verbal language and moves to the body language. Our content, in my opinion, speaks to a universal language, mm. emotion, somatics, caretaking. And I think that, I think that, that words not, aren't always the most powerful thing. And yet they are the thing we use the most, especially I've mentioned this in the English language, yeah. but there's something about that content that speaks so much more than just words Yeah, and can touch everyone. If you want to experience the power of somatic breath work, we would love to see you at one of our community sessions. You can click the link below to figure out when our next session is. And we'd love to see you there. This experience I truly believe could literally and will literally change the world.